guys, it's Queen DJ, and in today's video, I will be reacting to to episode 10 of season 2 of Fire Force. Let's go ahead and get started in 3, 2, 1, go. Little time left, right? Pretty like that. Oh, You know, where the fuck is Joker? We haven't seen him in a while. Hopefully he shows up soon. I know, like, seriously. <clears throat> Stuck in my throat. Man, there's a lot you can do, but you just need to just take that chance and fucking go for it. The end of days. Finally, let's just go. <laughs> yeah. 
Okay, but we know in how he's gonna touch them. Excuse me. I knew that was coming. <clears throat> because you constantly have a purpose. This false prophet as oh. Well, that makes sense. Fucked up way to die, though. Yeah, because they only need it one second.
Christmas Fantasia. See, I'm like really going into this. So then now she can rest because we're probably never going to see her again. She was an interesting character, though. Which makes the most sense and why she wants to get revenge.
Yeah, but they have to be brothers because they're rivers. <laughs> oh, well, damn, Scoop, I thought you were going to go with them. Damn. I really wanted him to go with that shit. <laughs> I mean, did you also take some potatoes on the road home? One crazy bitch, probably.
He did bring potatoes. <laughs> I mean, okay, it's a good way to end this arc, but I feel like the girl, whatever her reason is of why she's doing it, it had to be something. Maybe it's something she regret. I don't know. I got no fucking clue. I, I do like her. She's a very interesting character, and I do hope that we get a little more clarity and backstory on her. Maybe there might be an episode where she's going to be the entire focus. I don't know. I miss Scope because I want him to come back. I feel like we're, you know, we're not really going to see him again. Or even the bird. Maybe one day in this show, second half, I don't know. He might come back season three, season four, possibly. I have no fucking clue. But since we know who the one, two, three, four, five fillers, we got like three left. I have no fucking clue who the hell they could be. But, hmm. I don't know. I I'm stumped. That's all I can say about this. This is a damn good episode, but oh, I'm just like, I got no fucking clue what the fuck is gonna happen next. Like, mm, I do love the fact that this show really ties in a lot with religion. It kind of makes me want to go back and like, read, because as a Christian, it makes me want to go back and look some stuff up and how they're connecting certain things towards this show because it's interesting. I mean, it's not the only anime that I've seen that has religion in it. Death Note did that, did that a lot with all the biblical terms and everything, and I loved it for what it was, but, like, still, there's a lot of unanswered questions and lore with this. Is that for sure? Oh. It's this bad that this is something that I really wanted for the longest time because, okay, so ever since season one, when Victor was introduced to us, and I was like, okay, we know you're a bad guy. And then I think like two or three episodes um, later, I think most of us kind of forgot that he was a bad guy. And so I think we all kind of freaked out about it. Like, Wait, hold up. But then I was like, for me, I like, I was like still looking at it. I'm like, no, yeah, you're still, you're flip-flopping. You're bad, but you're kind of pretending to be good. But the fact that we're finally getting an episode on his backstory and why he's truly what he is, why he is on the side of evil instead of the side for good and why he's doing what he wants to do. That's interesting because he seems like the type of character who has had a lot of tragic things happen to him. Maybe his parents died due to something and he's lost everything and the only thing that he can choose and maybe um side with is this cult s group i mean they're even with the guy in this episode who um should have ended up killing he was a false prophet you could see that i mean yes the um the woman the god gave her gave him a gift and he ended up using that gift to like um spread the word of it and, and that's typically what mostly false prophets usually do i mean i've seen it mostly in movies and some tv shows in a way so you could see how it's very similar to him up until his demise which i mean happens in this episode but still with victor 
it seems like with his his story is just gonna be like probably one of them stories where I I don't know I may cry towards it I mean because like Arthur's made me freaking tear up and maybe Victor's might maybe um make me tear up as well because I think this is gonna make me understand him a lot more because he he's one of my personal other favorite characters even though he is a bad boy I mean but he seems very interesting you know a mm, little crazy, but that's okay. I like him. But the fact is that freaking Joker is fucking coming back in. I mean, it's been how long since we've seen this guy? Since, like, the end of season one. So, my biggest thing is, even though this is a flashback episode from what it seems, I mean, hey, I'm happy with it. At least he's back in the picture because it's been, like, forever since we've seen him. And I just want him to come back, I'm just saying. But other than that, guys, that was my reaction to towards episode 10 of season 2 of Fire Force. If you guys enjoyed it, please give me a like. It really helps me out. Also, subscribe to my channel. I make videos every single day. Join Master Scott. And, of course, I will see you guys officially all next Friday for episode 11. Bye, guys.